Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about the Python for loop statement with the built-in function range. And also we will see a Python program to find the sum and average of n integer numbers using the for loop. We will see how to generate a range of numbers. In Python, there is a built-in function named as range. Python's built-in function range generates a sequence of integers. By default, the function range generates numbers that successively increase by 1 that is known as step size. There are different types of formats for range functions depending upon how many number of parameters are used. We will see each one with example. The first one, the range method with a single parameter n. It will generate a sequence of integer numbers starting from 0 and continues up to integer n-1. minus For example, if we write the code list of range of 5, it will display a list consist of the elements from range of 5. Range of 5 will create the integer number starting from 0 up to 4. So the output of this will be a list which consists of integer numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The second format of range method which takes two parameters n1 and n2 it will generate the sequence of integer numbers starting from n1 and continues up to integer n2 minus 1. For example, if we write the code list of range of 2 comma 5, it will create a list which consists of integer numbers generated by range of 2 comma 5. The range of 2 comma 5 will start generating the integer number starting from 2 up to 5 minus 1 which is 2, 3 and 4. The third format of range method which takes three parameters n1, n2 and step where n1 and step are optional parameters. It will generate the sequence starting at n1 and continues up to the integer n2 minus 1 with increment of step value. By default the range method step value is 1 but we can change that by using the third parameter. For example if we write list of range of 10, 20, 3 it will start generating integer numbers starting from 10 up to 20 minus 1 whereas the step value will be 3. So the first integer will be 10 then after that 11 and 12 will be skipped and the third value will be the step value with third will be 13. Now next 13 plus 3 will be 16 and 16 plus 3 will be 19. The same method can be range of three parameters n1, n2 and step can also be used to produce a descending sequence of integer numbers if the step size is negative. When the step size is negative, the starting index should be larger than the stopping index. That means n1 should be greater than n2. For example, list of range of 20, 10, minus 3 will produce the list of integer numbers starting from 20 and keep on reducing 3 values and goes up to the last minus 1, 10 plus 1 because it is in the decreasing sequence. So it will produce a list consists of numbers 20, 20 minus 3 is 17, 17 minus 3 is 14 and 14 minus 3 is 11. Python for loop with built-in function range can be used to iterate a block of code for a specific number of times. So if we use the for loop using range method, we can be able to iterate a set of statements for a particular number of times. The general form of the for loop using the range function is, it starts with a keyword for, followed by the index variable. Here we have used the index variable as val, followed by the keyword in, 
followed by the range built-in function. Range functions can maximum take three parameters n1, n2 and step where n1 and step value are optional parameters followed by a colon and the body of the for loop. Body of the for loop should be indented for the for keyword. For loop iteration will depends on the value of n1, n2 and step where n1 and step are optional. Before each iteration, the loop variable, here it is PAL, will be assigned with each value generated by the range function. The range of n1, n2, step. We will see an example to display the word hello for three times using the for loop. So we have written the code as for i in range of 3 print hello. Now how many number of times this print hello will get printed or executed will depends upon the possible values of the looping variable i. Since we have used range of 3 it will create the integer numbers sequence starting from 0, 1 and 2. So during the execution, first time the i takes the value 0, second time i takes the value 1 and third time i takes the value 2. So total number of executions will be 3 times. So the hello will be printed for 3 times. Let us see another example Python code to display all the even numbers starting from 2 to 10. So here we will use the range method with the starting number is 2. We have to print up to the even number 10. So we will take the ending number as 11 and the step value is 2. So in this example, the i will take the value first initially 2. And next value will be the step value of 2. So 2 plus 2 will be 4. Next 4 plus 2 will be 6. And 6 plus 2 will be 8. And 8 plus 2 will be 10. So inside the loop, we have displayed the value of i, which takes the value 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. We have used the end keyword to specify that after printing each value of i, the cursor should not go to the next line. So all numbers which is coming from range of 2, 11, 2 will get printed within a single line. We will see a Python program to find the sum and average of n integer numbers using a for loop. By using the input method, we takes the value from the user, the value of n. The n indicates the total number of integers to be accepted from the user. The value of total and average will be first initialized as 0.
we print a statement to enter n number of integers By using a for loop, we will accept n integer numbers from the user. We have written for i in range of n, total plus equal to int of input. So input method will read the number and number will be in the format of string. It will get converted into integer by typecasting and will get keep on added into the variable total. So the for loop will get executed for n number of times. So total n numbers will be accepted from the user and all the numbers sum will get added into the variable total. Outside the for loop, we calculate the average as total divided by n. Sum and average is printed. Sum is stored inside the variable total and average is stored inside the variable avj both will get printed Execute and see the program output. The sum and average of four integer numbers are calculated by using this program. So in this program, we have used a for loop for repeating a set of statements for a specific number of times. Here we are repeating for n number of times because in range method, we have used range of n. So range of n will create total n number of integers starting from 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1. So the for loop will get repeated for total n number of times. The Python for loop can also be used to process the sequence like list or a tuple with its indices. The index of a sequence can be accessed by using range. Now if EL is a sequence, the LEN of EL, the built-in function LEN will return the number of items in the sequence EL. Now EL can be a list, a pull or a string. For example, we have a list, the name of the list is A which consists of elements 10 to 50. So if you have write LEN of A, it will display total the number of elements present in list A. So there are 5 elements, that's why it's returning the value as 5. Now if we want to find out the index of all the elements present in the list, we can use the method range, range of length of EL. It will generate the indices of the sequence EL.
For example, we have a list named as A, which consists of total 5 elements. The elements are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Now the index of each of the elements will be, the index of 10 will be 0, the index of 20 will be 1 and the index of 50 will be 4. It can be generated by using range of alien of A. Alien of A will return the length of A. The length of A is 5 and range of 5 will return the integer number starting from 0 up to 5 minus 1 which is 4. This way we can be able to generate the indices of the sequence by using range method. Now we will see an example to display the index and the value of a list by using a for loop and range method. We have initialized a list named as A which consists of three elements. To display the range, to display the index and the value of the list, we use a for loop. The loop variable is i and i takes the index of the list. The index of the list can be found by using range of length of a. So the value of i will be 0, 1 and 2. So in the print statement, we are printing the value of i and the content which is present in the list that can be accessed by using the list variable followed by the brackets and the index. Now the value of i will be 0, 1 and 2. So i will be printed as 0, 1 and 2 and a of i will print the content which is present in a of 0, a of 1 and a of 2. So it will print the index and the corresponding value which is present in the list. Variable i is used for the index of the list and the value can be accessed by using the brackets and the index. Let's see another example to display the double value of all the elements of a list. We have to double all the values of a list. A list is created. The name of the list is A which consists of three elements 1, 3 and 5. By using print statement first we print all the elements of the list. So it will print the full element of the list which is 1, 3 and 5. By using a for loop, we can access each individual element of the list by using range of len of a. Now the value of i will be the index of each of the elements. So we have written a of i equals current a of i into 2. So first a of 0 will become a of 0 into 2 that is 1 into 2 and a of 1 will become current a of 1 which is 3 into 2 which is 6 and a of 2 will become current a of 2 which is 5 into 2 which is 10. So the elements which is present in the list will get doubled so that will be printed by using print statement. So the first print statement will print the list as 1 3 5 and after the execution of the for loop the list will be modified and the elements will be doubled and it will print it as 2, 6 and 10. Thank you for watching this video.